Alrighty, good morning everybody. My name is Osa. We are playing Farm Sim 19 on Oakfield Farm Farming Agency Edition. And we are reaching the end of the harvest. It is game time, 3.30 in the afternoon. I just set off the, uh, the worker in the sugar beet harvester. We're finishing off the uh, sunflowers right here. And I probably shouldn't be doing adjacent rows with this thing, but it's really not filling up that quickly now. Okay. More reasonably, I shouldn't be doing that because the turn is too sharp for the uh, or tight for the uh, harvester to actually clear. Anyway, we'll fix that when we return. Fresh grass in the sheep pasture is growing, so uh, hopefully that will fix the issues I'm having with the map. But uh, otherwise, we're all good. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say this is going really quick, but obviously, yes, it's the Helianthus header which is. capable of harvesting at a much greater speed than a um, draper. So, it is what it is. Real world, we've had a lot of rain the last few days. Today is Kind of overcast, but looks like it may dry up later. So, farm sim speak, we wouldn't be harvesting in the real world today. But, give it a couple of hours, it should be quite nice out there. And then probably quite hot. We have had a bunch of storms go through, but they haven't hit where we live. There was uh, some quite serious winds uh, where we used to live, but uh, not so much here. I would kind of expect where we live now, we're a little bit further away from the major lake um, between us and Canada. So I would kind of assume that the effect the lake has on weather is a little less pronounced than where we used to live. However, probably not significantly. We are done with this one. Wow. go over here and empty this. So that's the sunflowers absolutely done. That's good. At least according to the, uh, the yield map. This is a good field. Um, yeah. yeah, this is a really, really strong um, thing. Uh, soil type and obviously all these slightly leached out bits are where we had weeds so I, I'm gonna have to uh, consider um, what we're doing with weeds actually what we should do next is run over here and get this guy moving It's 
really no point in paying him to sit in the tractor with the engine running. I'm guessing it might be worth bringing the semi-truck down here as well so we've got additional capacity. Because that's two loads, another load will be... Oh, three more loads in this one. Anyway, sunflowers are done. Obviously, well, do I need to plow both of these fields? Don't need to plow these fields, and it's the first year, so not going to bother with um, lime. But we are going to be putting probably cereal crops down, and they do require a lot of nitrogen. So, oops. Oh, that's the the header trailer. Oops. And as we learned last week, uh, can't. Not only can we not drive uh, bales through hedges, we also can't drive headers through uh, hedges either. So. Do here. Unload that. I think. What's on the front? Pallet forks. Good. I believe I needed to. Uh, uh, sugar beets. Yeah, sugar beets and clover silage. So. I'm going to grab a sugar beet pallet. And I will probably, one of the trucks we bring up from the sugar beet field, I will uh, make some more sugar beet pallets for us. So since we have the silage bales in the sheep pasture anyway, I'm not going to try any fancy tip this over the, uh, the wall. We'll have, have to drive in the field. been watching a couple of uh, FarmCon impressions videos this week and 
it would appear we're getting a lot of good stuff. Oh, come on, seriously. how pallets work because that's a pain in the butt. Anyway, let's uh, broom the... Uh, oops. Broom the food. And... this is done. And now this probably won't make it all the way back up the road, but uh, probably be a plan to get the uh, JCB out of the way in anyway. bales we created with the fast baler which not so fast with clover. I bought them into this field because at the moment I'm not planning on cutting the grass here so it's no big deal driving over it. It's One thing I haven't found about FOMSIM 22 is whether the physics are improved. They did show a video of one of the production chains and they were moving a pallet of something and it looked a little bit dodgy to say the least. So uh, now this will shake because it's not attached at the bottom. So how do we do that? If I get... Uh, that's 4,800 litres only. Oh. That's 3,900. There's probably enough for one bale, one more bale between the two of them. I still need to take the uh, sugar beets out the field as well, so... Oh. I'll do that as well. Excuse me, sheep. to that completely wrong. So this is coming up on four o'clock. This will be enough food to last us overnight for all of our animals. I think.
and that's all we're really worried about. I'm, I'm less concerned about having 100% capacity troughs because I know we, we have to feed them once a day anyway. So it's really just a matter of uh, How does that feel? Whoops, how does that look? We're short on hay, but there's more than half a hay, so that's good. Episode 9, you're getting there slowly. Um, yeah, um, obviously, I mean, it's a long time since I produced those, so I'm not sure how far into the year you're at. Fairly certain you're not at the end of the year yet. But good morning, Starbuck, and welcome to the stream. We've been going about 15 minutes here. I've finished off the sunflowers. And as soon as I've got the sheep fields closed back up, we'll finish off the sugar beets. Which, with all the distractions I'm currently uh, messing with, May go well into the evening. Um, baled hay, if it's stored in... Well, okay. Hay rots if it gets rained on. And I think snowed on. So... That's your concern. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's baled or loose. What you have to do is put it indoors. So if I had a ton of loose hay or hay bales here and it rains, they will disappear. I'm stuck. But um, if you stick it in a shed, which is what we've got going on Oops. Basically, the shed I have here, where I store all my stuff, there's clover hay. I have stored hay in here. I think we've got rid of all the hay. We're now just using the clover hay. But all of that, perfectly safe because it has a roof over it. Now, the conditions are obviously your running seasons. Um, the building is prepared for seasons or the map is prepared for seasons now what the, what i'm saying there is if you use a placeable to put your um your hay into then it needs to be prepared for seasons so that seasons knows that you've put a building there so anything stored in it is safe from rot apart from grass which just rots wherever it is um, if the map is prepared for seasons then the buildings that the map maker has placed on the uh, map are secure from weather effects and the way that uh, Realismus explained it was there is a snow mask, what they call a snow mask, which is basically areas where snow cannot fall. 
And if a map maker includes those, which could be roads, it could be sheds, houses, whatever, um, then the, uh, the rotting rules work as is. Now, in Farm Sim 17 on Law Folds, the map wasn't seasons prepared, so none of the build the, there, there was no snow mask on the map. And so there's a slightly modified rule which says if hay and straw is baled, it never rots, and if it's loose, it always rots, even if it's what you think is a shed, because seasons can't see it as a shed because the snow mask is missing on the map. Um, now, when I was playing Law Folds through um, using Seasons on Farm Sim 17, I still honoured the idea that, well, if you're going to make bales, you stick them in a shed, because that's how, that's how Seasons is designed to work, and even though there's no snow mask on the map, I still effectively said there was, but I had to bale everything. I couldn't leave anything loose, because obviously... Um, loose got destroyed in weather regardless of where you stored it so but yes oak field is seasons prepared so there is a snow mask on there and um, yeah, everything's good yes okay we did that did I shut the gate down the way I can't remember well, if I didn't, they'll be cheap on the road. But, uh, right now, I think we are done with that. And the reason I took time out to do that now was because I've been uh, forgetting to do it for the last two weekends. So, it's probably a good plan to make sure I do it this weekend. But yeah, you can you can store loose or baled. Obviously, baled is better because it stores more efficiently or stacks more efficiently than loose. But yeah. It's not a requirement. It's you know, being baled is not actually a requirement. Being undercover is Oh yeah, lots of grass mowing in early summer. I remember doing that. I think early summer, I, occasionally in early summer, when um, on at the beginning of this series, we were mowing hay for grass, uh, mowing grass for hay, as opposed to um, silage. Spring and fall, it tended to be silage. One because um, I had enough hay by that time, and two, um, it's more difficult to dry out hay during fall when it rains and spring when it rains. And plus you get an early morning uh, dew in uh, both fall and spring. quite typically, so you're losing half the day. Um, well, e either you're losing half the day for harvest, or um, you're not going to get dry, semi-dry grass when you mow. And if you mow it in the evening, it's going to be damp in the morning because the dew. So. all sorts of all sorts of logistical issues with weather now I'm not sure we're actually going to see that in 22 um, obviously I have been paying attention to information coming out this week and it would appear that they're going they're calling their seasons or their seasonal periods by month Stopped already? Yeah, he stopped already. So if 
we look at the seasons map, um, instead of being early spring, mid spring, late spring, early summer, mid summer, late summer, it's going to be, they start the year on January, but spring is March, April, so you'd be looking at April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Yeah. Okay. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Also with, um, if you think about it, if you're doing an Australian map, early spring is early spring, but that's happening in September. Um, and so realismus didn't have to get fancy with, um, with their seasonal periods. The only downside that we've noticed so far is there is no number of days per season. Now when what we're looking at is our seasonal period, we're doing a nine day season. So the three periods is a season and we get, we get nine days per season. Giants are doing you know, January, February, March. So they're doing one day per conceptual month. You can't do multiple days per month. So that's that's sort of an issue if you like playing your days fast or want to, you know, we've got a lot of fields, we need time to work them on. And um, there may be opportunity for some programmers to create mods for number of days per season or maybe giants will add that before they go into production um, there are no geos in uh, in farm sim 22 so you can't you know all, all of the seasonal information has to be created within the map. I'm guessing if a map maker can't be bothered, but they're basing it off a, a giant's template, then there'll be a default giant setting and that's loaded in, and all you have to do if you want to um, be a little bit more thorough in your map design is edit it for the area you're trying to map. I don't know, but we have heard there are no geos. Um, so the seasonal structure for the map you're on can't be edited by loading a different geo if you feel like it. It's not something I'm particularly worried about. I know a lot of game uh, map makers might make their map seasons ready but they don't necessarily add their own geo. Some of them will create a geo as a separate mod. So you can go in and say no man's land and no man's land geo. If you want to play seasons on no man's land, you might want to consider no man's land geo because that's what the geo that's been designed for that map but you could, you know, you could use the Scottish Geo or US Midwest or yeah, whatever you want it. It's it's entirely up to you. But with twenty two, you're going to be stuck with what they create. They are going to have fluctuating prices. So this thing, where depending on where in the year wheat is going to be more valuable or less valuable. However, I haven't seen a screen like this, so it could be completely unknown to you and you have to hope and guess and uh, that may you know, that may be additional things we now 